Hello, Starlight, and welcome back to a random video that I've been posting on YouTube. I know, it's something that I just don't know why I don't be consistent with YouTube. But I think this video is just perfect for me to post it. But before we talk about this, can we just acknowledge that 2024 is in four days? Like... What is going on here? Am I going crazy? Or time is just going crazy? <sighs> I don't know. Let's just stay awoke. As, as we go going on to this video, I don't want to talk too much or whatever, but I just want to basically talk about this painting. And then maybe a little random stuff. But right now, let's talk about this painting and why I paint this and what is the point of this and yada 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 first the paint is called well not paint but this painting this artwork is called the creator and this has something to do with me versus God and let me just say when I was a little girl I was strictly into Bible and wanted to know God and stuff but I think soon as I just started getting older I realized okay I just love my connection with God I keep making excuses with God if it makes sense but I this is not a video for me to go super in religion but can we just point out that religion is what's messed making all this division in this world that you do you with your religion and belief but i strictly want to have a lecture just me and god nothing else <laughs> and when people talk about that god is in me i think this is what this painting is about this is what i'm doing here this is my relationship with myself and God, if it makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just rambling right here, but just think of that. And this is what this painting is. And I enjoy this because I realized that me and God have so much in common. We like to make stuff. Um, we see colors and color is it something that i'm so into i love bright colors but you know teal minty green cyan is my favorite color but um we just see color and three what else would be the third one that i can say me and god have something in common i just feel like when we make stuff it sometimes fall apart and when it fall apart it become a beautiful artwork and i think this painting demonstrate that because once i painted i was like okay i'm not feeling this but when i just kept going i'm like okay i'm feeling it i'm feeling it and then i messed up again and then i just had to use something else pro k to fix my picture that I made and I'm like okay if this is how you know God do and think and you do you get where I'm coming from I don't know but um back to my painting um I use this as my self reference because I like to draw me more than I do with any other drawing that I do I have reference of other people or other women strictly I draw a lot of black women because that's my category but when it comes to drawing other people I just feel like I cannot connect with them because it's just a person in the picture and it makes you wonder what do they do in life if this is something they like to do if this <laughs> Again, I overthink. So I have to use myself more, which I noticed this year that I draw myself a lot. 
and I'm enjoying drawing myself because I am, let's just say, I'm not gonna lie, I'm an emotional person, but I feel like my emotions are real and the only person that can get that is me. So yeah, I use this reference of myself and hole in the earth and basically earth represent life and that's so cheesy thing to say but when we look at earth and comparing it to life what am i trying to say because i'm not gonna smell like not smell like what is wrong with me today it's it's early in the morning i'm sorry but um when it comes to earth and life, what do you think of earth and life? How are they the same? How do you compare it? And all that, again, overthink. All that in one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like life this year is showing itself. And it makes you realize a lot of things that we don't really pay attention in life. It's so many things that we don't acknowledge because we're so stuck in this internet world, if you understand where I'm coming from. Right. When I just put my phone down and walk outside, I'm knowing every little detail that I never pay attention to. And I think that is good to me. I don't know about y'all, but it's good to me. Um... What else can I say about this? Um, and then uh, um, my face with this. I want it to be like a light bulb type of thing, but I'm like, uh, that was my first idea is the light bulb. And I'm like, uh, I don't like it. Let me just do it and the sun, because the sun is so close to earth, right? Yeah, let me just add it a sun looking, you know, add a little heat and stuff which you'll see later on in the video um and then i added a moon because moon is represent of what to me moon represent of sleep like we sleep when we see moon we just go to sleep we rest and stuff so i'm doing a lot of symbol with the sun that's been on my face, the earth in my hand, and the moon just to crop the earth. And this picture is represent my life and how I see it. And that's when I'm like, okay, I'm comparing myself with God because this is how God see it. And this is my opinion, but this is how he see it. And now I'm painting, I'm drawing, I'm making, you know, stuff with my art ray. And that's when I realized, you know what? We do have something in common. Um, I am so sorry if I've been random, but I feel like this is just a good time for me to just express this all in this. Um, what else can I say? Um, I think this should be it. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> And just right now, I'm just like, I just want to put this video out and I just want to say this. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, give it a like, comment, subscribe, do what you want to do, it doesn't matter. This is just me sharing something that I love and something that I'm very passionate about. and. This is something that I only have in my life. It's just me and art. And this is something I'm really passionate about. So um, I hope you guys enjoy your um, holiday and your new year. And let's just make 2024 our best positive year. No matter what you're going through. Let's just put a smile on our face and say, we got this. We got this. So, see you later, Starlight. Bye.